okay, so just as soon as we touched down to Miami, we went and checked into our Airbnb, which we had booked maybe a couple weeks before our surgery. And when I tell you it was absolutely positively horrendous, ugh, the living space was not suitable for three people. There was mattresses sliding up from under couches. The living space as a whole was super tiny. The bathroom even tinier. It was not suitable for what we had going on. So we got up out of there, got our money back, and booked a room for the night. We had a slight panic attack, but we got through it. Oh, All right, so just a little update. We went ahead and we got out of that nasty Airbnb. And we got a room for the night. Um, which we just checked out of. Um, we were able to book a extended stay. Um, we're gonna go ahead, what are we doing? Are we checking? We're checking into that after pre-op. Right? Yep. Yeah, we're on our we're way, on to, our pre way to pre right, right now. Um, we text, one of the surgery girls texted us and said that prepare to be here for a few hours. Which is a little yeah. annoying because we have to pick up the car at three o'clock. Yep. And, and check mine in. Mine is at twelve thirty. Hers is at one. So all of our little plans really don't Probably. look like yeah. <laughs> we plan on going to the beach, getting on some jet skis, parasailing, skydiving. <laughs> We was gonna have a fun day, okay? But um, I guess we're here for what we're here for. And, um, she said that they haven't even been here in the room yet. So, um, hopefully, we'll be able to get some sleep in and out of our pre op appointment. Hopefully, we don't have to be there for a few hours. Yeah. Get the car, check it to the room, and then go shopping for the stuff that we still need. Yeah. We have a jam-packed day ahead, okay? Yeah, we do. And y'all get to follow us around. I'm doing. so glad that we came two days before surgery. Because us figuring all of this out... A day before? Like, the day before would have been terrible. Oh, yeah. And we still have to figure out massages. Yeah, our we massage therapist isn't able to, like, travel to the new extended location. stay at the new location, so... So, it's been a rough night, okay? But we're about to get it together. All right, so we will check back in with y'all at pre op, all right? I'm scared. No, I'm okay, so we just pulled up and we just got a message from one of the girls in the group chat saying that her surgery was canceled because she didn't have enough fat. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. We're gonna be straight. We're gonna be straight. I don't know. I'm we're gonna be straight. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, we're going in. Y'all pray for us. How do I flip this around? This is the parking. I'm not really sure. Yeah. We have to come to pre op with our bags. <laughs> like. This is silly. Oh, but God got us. He got us. Nobody ever shows the building. No, they don't. But this is the building. This is do not open. Oh. Girls too. This is what we're getting surgery. <sighs> oh. We didn't figure out how to get in. Oh, the doors are open right here. Reserved parking for Dr. William Miami. What? But that's his parking spot. This is car. Is huh? Okay? No, it's that. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh. 
all post-operative patients must be accompanied in the elevator with their caregiver. My appointment after 12.30 though. We're here. It's full. What you mean? My appointment after 12.30. We don't know where we're going. Lobby. We are on one. I guess we're three. I'm nervous. Yeah, that scared me. A little I'm bit. really nervous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be straight. Oh my gosh, my stomach hurts. checked in for pre-op. I don't know how long this is going to take, but we're here, baby. Yeah, I'm slim, but let me see what I got enough. I'm in a 5X. I'm in a 5X. For the Faha? Yes. A 5X for the Faha? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm warm. How do you feel? Okay, good. That's oh, what I love to hear. Everybody. I, everybody. Yes. Everybody. I wish I could ask you to do that. I don't put my number in. Okay. Okay, so they called us back and we had to fill out these forms. Put this down there. We are ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. I hope we're not waiting here all day. Oh, 
so happy we took our COVID test before we got here. So that was a plus. Right. We saved $50. <laughs> Yeah, we just um, we printed out our results and brought them with us, and that was fine. So, Hi. now let's see how long we can have us waiting in this hallway. Okay. Okay, so pre-op was easy breezy, very quick. It went by very fast. Um, everybody was so nice. Um, now we are in the car. We got a, what is this, a Kia Sedona. We can um, let the seats down. We got more than enough room for after surgery. Let's type in finger licking. Okay, so we just left pre-op. It was very easy breezy. Everybody was super nice. We were in and out. Um, no real problems there, right? No issues at all. We literally walked in, sat down, like, I was about to go to the bathroom really quick. He was already calling me back there. Yeah. Um, we was on our paperwork that had his pee. Obviously, she was like, no baby. So, do they only just do the pregnancy test? Because when she came back, she was like, no baby. They say anything about, like, drugs or anything. <laughs> And we did take an edible yesterday, so, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah. um, yeah, everything went really smooth. Everybody was really nice. And I, don't, I really don't have any complaints, really. This really, like, goes to show that you can't listen to everything that they, like, you read, like, on those surgery pages. Because everybody's experience is going to be different. I haven't really seen people say that when they got to 305 that they had a horrible experience so I think it's just like pre getting down here not hearing from your surgery coordinator and stuff I don't really see people I've seen people that have been waiting around all day in the waiting room waiting to hear from people oh, yeah. and yeah. having to get up and talk to the receptionist and things like that but we didn't have any of those problems so yeah we were in and out everybody was really helpful they were very nice especially Ebony yeah, we got to see people like um, getting like rolled out of surgery, mm -hmm. and they were just shaking. But it's honestly super cold in there. I think when you wake up from anesthesia, like you shake anyways. But it is cold as hell in 305. Yeah, like my <laughs> fingers were turning like purple. It was cold. Um, yeah. We even met two girls. Two girls were there for their post-op appointment. And they had surgery yesterday, so their post-op appointment was literally the next day, but they were up standing, walking around, like, feeling fine. Yeah. And she was like, honestly, like, I was like, how'd you feel yesterday? She was like, fine. She was like, just up here in this area where they, like, hold is sore. So, I honestly feel, like, a lot better. Yeah. And knowing that the surgery is only, what, two hours it was, instead she of She said, four. like, two, two and a half hours. That's not bad at all. I was nervous. I'm really excited. I was nervous, especially when I when we got that text that that girl did not have enough fat. Oh, yeah. The ladies kept saying, like, she looked at me, she's like, you got enough, trust me. I'm like, I want to go how to. Oh. But after hearing that, I honestly was worried because I've been trying to, like, make sure that I gain a little weight for this. So I was kind of nervous about that. But once I got in there, she, like, swallowed my fat. She was mine too. She was like, she's like, I'm gonna take it all from right here. I'm uh -huh. like, yes, please, please take it. Yeah, off. she tell you where they're. Gonna I don't want to see it when I wake up. Where they're gonna take it from? <laughs> where they're going to put it? Uh, she said a little at the top and then like the bottom or whatever. I mean the hips yeah. and stuff. So everything went well. We're both ca good candidates and we're just now we have to we got the car. Now we gotta go get some food. Marissa hasn't eaten. I have, I picked this up earlier at like Walgreens. I'm starving. So we're about to go get something to eat and then it should be time for us to check into our new extended stay. Extended stay. Hopefully this one is like gonna work because we really don't have no choice. <laughs> we don't. Um, yeah. I'm 
ready. I'm so ready. I think this car is perfect. We did good. We did yeah. really good. It's very spacious. Seats go down. We're gonna dress and it. And we'll have even more because you can let push these up. Even if we well, don't yeah. let them down, you can just move them up. We can spread out back there already though. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dress the car up later with some plastic and pillows and whatever else we need to be comfortable after surgery. Yeah. Um, so what, food, check in the hotel, grocery shopping sometime later. And if we can, we wanna hit the beach. Yeah. Well, we better get to it. Where do you wanna go eat? I wanna try finger licking. But let's see how far that is. Um, but if not, I mean, I guess. Why is this air not cold? It's like not. I'm gonna hit the AC. It is on AC. Um, yeah. 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 Y
That part. Okay, this room is much better. <laughs> Are we happy with the room? Oh! So much better. Out of 10. Alright. So <laughs> the other, one was, like the other one was a negative. It was a negative, so it's good. Oh, wait. We're about to unpack and get the, it. The um, massage lady texted. How the fuck I did this thing on neighborhood? So we finally checked into our new room and it is so much better. Like we cannot even find we anything. Can breathe. Yes, we <laughs> cannot find anything to complain about because like we've been through hills. So this room is actually comfortable. I mean it literally has everything we need. The walk-in shower, kitchen, the enough beds for us. I mean we're absolutely thankful. The only thing this um, hotel is 40 minutes away from 305 but that's not bad because we literally just have to go to surgery and then but the next day we do have to go to the post office appointment post too but that's not bad that's, that's not, not bad. bad at all I'll take the time I'll take the, the, I'll distance. Take the distance over yeah, the like trash. for a better yeah for a better <laughs> hotel because that Airbnb was like Mm -mm. Terrible. So now it's actually like 10 15 p.m. the night before our surgery, and we are picking up my mom from the airport. Did we say that we got our surgery times already? Yeah, we told them already. Okay, yeah. Cool. Um, but just in case we didn't, we do have our surgery times. Marissa actually goes first. Um, I'm so ready. She goes at 9 15, <laughs> and then I go right after her at 11 15. So our surgeries are honestly probably gonna be less than two hours because I'm literally two hours after her. But maybe they have to like you know of course prep you maybe and stuff prep. like that. I feel like we need to be there earlier for that. Like, no, we need to read our thing because I think it definitely said to be there earlier. Okay. But we are at the airport. We're at Fort Lauderdale Airport picking up our mom. Yes. Um. I can't, okay, so rumor has it um, that my mom is talking about for the first night, which is tomorrow, we're going to be sleep most of the day. So she thinks she about to head out. And be grown. She and, thinks she about to be grown. Girl. And head out and have a night on fly you out to <laughs> take care of us. You about to come to Miami to turn I'm Talking about we going to be sleep. Talking about we going to and, and then when we first asked her to come, she was like, oh, yeah, y'all going to have a bedtime. Remember? Yeah. She was trying to put us to bed. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. Okay. She didn't get flued she had out. This, she, she had this plan like all along. She felt yeah. like a city girl. She felt like a city girl. She got flued out. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. I'm talking about she about to go hang out. Yeah, we'll see about that, yeah. Miss Motley. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to pick her up. I'm sure she's hungry. I really hope something is open. We got y'all to see if she will be in our videos because I know she about to be funny and get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> and then we need to go dress the room, dress the car. Yeah, we got to dress the car before we turn it back to LA. We're going to meal prep. We got some shrimp, salmon. We got some chicken. Asparagus, broccoli. We got, um, what kind of chicken is that again? Rotisserie chicken. We got rotisserie chicken. I think we're ready. We got uh, eggs and turkey bacon for breakfast. Tomorrow, obviously, we're only going to eat soup and, like, drink Pedialyte with our Miralax in it. Dang, I wish we could have brought our gallon of water. That would have been too much to, like, be packing. Yeah. But we have water bottles. We have protein. With straws. Yes, straws. we have protein shakes. We're prepared. Um, I really think, yeah. I think we're this? ready now. She said, I said, how are you feeling? She said, tired. She said, did everything go good with y'all? Yes, we are just prepping. It was nice that we were able to find some of the ladies that were getting surgery on the same day as us. And with the same doctor, we put everyone into a group chat. So we can talk to them and let them like you know let them know what we're going through and they can give us some feedback on what they're going through and everybody's like situation like marissa was saying earlier everybody's experience 
is different you know what i'm saying i wish it could be like across the board like the same but honestly like the girl in the group chat earlier said that we were going to be there for a few hours it was going to be so long just the wait she sat for a long time me and marissa were like pretty much in and out and like the little while that we did stay is because i was like conversing with the lady that you pay with for a minute so it really was like an in and out thing for us like we came in gave our names and like we were getting called already yeah so and everyone was nice a big thing was like about cancellations and things like that like people were scared that they were canceling people for no good reason and things like that yeah we haven't experienced well um, one of the girls in the group chat got canceled because she didn't have enough fat they told her so yeah. Williams did not. William, but um, the our doctor, doctor said that um, he wouldn't touch her because yeah. of her, I guess, BMI weight, whatever. But so what scared me, y'all, is that I met this really nice lady. You know, she was kind enough to talk to me. She was there for her post op appointment. I think we told you guys about them earlier. It was like two friends, like surgery sisters, like us. And they got their surgery together, but they were like doing so good. <laughs> but she was small. She was small and got surgery. And you know, I'm not like I'm not the smallest, but I'm not the biggest. And I get in surgery, so I'm just gonna say like I'm nervous on if. The results are going to be what you need it to be. Well, yeah. Is it going to give what it's supposed to give? Yeah. But it is. It is. Very much. I'm trying so hard to just tell myself, like, Faith, like, once you get right out of surgery, you cannot, like, go to, like, straight to, like, critiquing everything. Like, you do have to give things a chance. Because I am going to be so. I will cry. You know, like, when you get your hair done, it's ugly. It's yeah, hell. Like, you be pissed. You be pissed, you gonna cry. Like, that's some shit to cry over. I will cry over this, okay? You can I'll take your hair out. For sure. I'm gonna have to go for a round two if I look a mess, but I won't be doing that for a while. Because I'm gonna have to gain a whole lot of weight back. What is my mom? Why is my mom on my Instagram? Oh. <laughs> Let's call her guys. Hello? Ma. Ma. Starting trouble already. Ma, can you hear me? Ma. Hello? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. What am I supposed to do? Because we can't stop. Like, we got to keep rolling. She needs to be coming out. What the hell? What? What? Baby. Baby, what's going on? I'm gonna play nice because they're in Florida and y'all know people in Florida are crazy. All y'all Floridians. Yeah. <laughs> Everything goes on in Florida. Hello? Okay, I gotta get my bag. Oh. Uh, you gonna sit by the pool for sure and watch that lake downstairs. You think I'm not about to be down there in my room? <laughs> Oh, so we gotta, we have to come in our robe and socks, and that's it. But booty naked under that robe. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> we got a regular hotel room. We got an extended stay. Oh, okay, that's uh. It's got a kitchen, 
It's nice. It's it's yeah. It's 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 bigger than the Airbnb we was gonna yeah, stay. Yeah, you in. didn't even want to see that Airbnb. You don't we, we didn't even. even we we weren't even, even going to bring you there. We not. Yeah, we weren't even gonna bring you to the Airbnb because <laughs> what? We walked in like what? Yeah, sorry we brought ourselves to the. So, Airbnb. Yeah, sorry we brought ourselves to the Airbnb. <laughs> we didn't even stay there. We went to a hotel. Yes, we, we we had to book a hotel. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's be <laughs> it's pending. What? Wear the jumpsuit with your pants over. I mean, you know the body suit. Mm -hmm. She has the pants and her body's still over. Oh, um, um, like what Marissa had on that one time. I don't know. And the body's still go between your cracks. Yeah. Yeah. That's nasty. <laughs> 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 Good morning. It is 6.30 and I just took my shower. Faith is about to take her shower. I'm nervous. Today yeah. is the day. It's D-Day. B-Day. Booty Day. Uh-uh. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Um, so we went ahead and we are putting the potty pads on the top of the bed so we don't ruin these folks' furniture. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like I should have brought the whole um, 100 of them. Yeah. So we are going to try to make it there by eight o'clock. My surgery is at 9.15. Followed by faith surgery. Once she get out, I go in. This is real. <laughs> Man. But yeah, let's, um, we're gonna hurry up and get out of here and. Did you uh, cook on my shrimp last night? Yeah, cause you fell asleep. Faith fell asleep and I had to cook all the food. Oh, it's tired, girl. <laughs> But all right, we'll catch up with y'all in the car. Hopefully, we can get this camera up and running because we've been using our phones. Yeah, hopefully, the best <laughs> has scissors so we can open the new memory card because we ran out of memory. Yeah. All right, bye for now. All right, so they called me back. They gave me different compression socks. I'm, like, more excited than nervous. And I know I keep saying this, but I'm just... The anticipation has been killing me, and I'm just so ready. Okay, she's on her way. She is? Yep, yeah, I gave it to her. Perfect. <laughs> All right, y'all, I made it back from surgery. Um, You know, Faith's surgery was right after mine, so her mom went to go get her after her surgery a little minute ago, I feel like. I will say that laying down is very uncomfortable the way I have to lay down, but I am napping. I am sore. I'm about to go back to sleep because I do not feel well. I'm sore and I'm tired and I'm bit I'm dizzy. I popped a perky Molly Percocet. And um, it made me feel great, but I gotta go to sleep, all right? So I'll check in with y'all. Faith will probably check in when she gets here. But yeah, we did it. We did the damn thing. Ta-ta for now.
All right, y'all. This is the last leg of the trip. Hey, one before you try to come around. <laughs> we are eating. We just got some Subway. This lighting good. It is. We looking better than a couple this days ago. So yeah. But yeah, this is the last leg of our journey. We making it back to the D. We are um. We're kneeling on our BBO pillows. Yep. Booty poking. Okay. Oh, tell them. Yeah. Tell them what the this guy girl. Asked. Oh, oh yeah. Her thought she was gonna record. Ask her for the footage. She took a picture with the flash on. Yeah, the flash on. I can see you sitting like this, but the thing is, she can be sitting like this too. Because that ass. <laughs> um, this guy had walked up to us and was like, um, "Are you got? Do you guys run track, or are you Muslim? Like, why are you sitting like that?" And it really and took all we us could a do minute. was laugh. We just laugh. <laughs> we could just laugh because what? I Come said, on, we're in it's Miami. It's a personal. It's a personal choice to sit like this. We're in Miami. You know what's going. You like know this. what's going down in Miami. Maybe he was just a little slow. Yeah, you which know you got to give people okay. the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, mm -hmm. but not run track or Muslim. He's like, oh, I thought yeah. y'all like ran track or y'all Muslim. Nose piercing is gonna irritate me. You gotta like push it in. Like, I need to get a hoop ASAP. Yeah, I had one. Threw it away. They easier to do, mm -hmm. but. I'm excited to be going back home. I'm a little nervous because I get the baby back today. But I miss her, of course. But I'm just nervous because she a little needy. Yeah. I just want something else. Yeah. <laughs> I get something else. <laughs> and if you don't say it, she'll ask me for it. Melissa. Yeah. I'd be like, you got to ask your mom. She'd be like, why? <laughs> <laughs> And she be thinking I'm a jungle gym, so that's gonna have to be talked about in the beginning because no, ma'am. Yeah, I'll be in tears if she jump on me. Jump on this new back. But um, all in all, we made it we through made this it. journey. I am so 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 happy that it is over. Okay. The worst is over. You know, we the did, aftercare is the it. most important part. And we did it. Yeah. My massage was horrible yesterday. Mine was bad yesterday, too. Did we film any of that? I don't think so. Uh, I did film, like, a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah, I got... I think I got you after I got out the shower a little bit, but... Mm, I don't know excuse what I'm me. <clears throat> That's, like, my main thing is, like, trying to regain feeling in my stomach. We both got massages tomorrow. I gotta call and try to switch to see if she can do it at my dad's house. Mm. She should, it's right across the street from you. She can just do yeah. it and go to you. But, you know, people be tripping, they like to, you know, be a little extra. Extra. Well, you know, people like to play with us, <laughs> is what we've noticed. Unfortunately, it's black business. I don't know how y'all look. I like to support black business, but y'all do make it complicated. Yeah. We make it complicated. But, I don't know. Hopefully she just be like, oh yeah, that's okay. Yeah. With a smile on her face. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, we just wanted to check in. We um, ate some candy. <laughs> yeah. so, Got some snacks. We're, so, we're supposed to sit on our BBL pillow uh, until take off and they said like, you could take your seatbelts off for people to stand up. So then I think we're gonna try to kneel. Mm -hmm. The wheelchair assistance was amazing. 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Um, they took us straight to the, to the line. line. They take you straight to the front of the line. Um, you know, they make sure you got your boarding passes and stuff. And, and they drop you right off at the gate. 30 minutes yeah. on the plane. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is just us checking in before we check out. So, we'll let y'all know how the flight goes. We made it to Detroit. We are finally home, and I'm too happy. These wheelchairs are a little raggy. 
Yeah, this is different time. But we're waiting for wheelchair assistance to come and take us to baggage claim. And then we I get to so go. I had so much home. anxiety at the beginning of the flight because we thought that we were going to have a third person yes. in the row. Thank God there was only two of us because that would not have worked out. It was only me and Marissa. It would not have worked out. Yeah. But yeah, we got to stand up periodically, lean into the chair a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the chair came to follow It wasn't too bad. It actually kind of went by a little quick. Yeah. I slept pretty good. I tried to sleep. I slept. But yeah, we're just going to wait for them to get us to baggage claim and we're out of here, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have picked up our bags. What was your name? Uh, James. James, thank you so much, James. <laughs> wheelchair support, we made it. My mom is waiting. Um, is Jeff waiting? Yep. Jeff is here. Is waiting. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Are you coming back this way or no? What door are you at? Yeah, five. Five. And you're gonna pick up from where? She's at one. So really, I can get my bag and I can skedaddle. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All in all, the moral of the story is we made it. We made it. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, bye, Rick. Bye.